Okay, yeah. let me ask you something really off topic here. Because yeah. when do you when do you went to to ATT to American Top Team? 2017 was the first time. Uh, for, was my first time uh, traveling to the U.S. after the Jeremy Stephens fight. And I did like one month of training over here and I got back to Brazil. And in 2008, I get back here and I start to live in, here since then. 2018, right? 2018, yes. Okay, so when when you, you first arrived at ATT, was there like legends there? Like guys that you always yes. look, look up to? Yes. Like who? Yes, like uh, at the time, Gleison Tibau, uh, Adriano Martins at the time, uh, Leandro Buscapé, a lot of guys, bro. The ATT was always, Thiago Alves was always full of people, full of good people over there, you know. To be honest with you, I was very worried because the, the first time that I went over there was to do sparring. It was on a Tuesday and they put me against Adriano Martins. At the time I was 145 and Adriano Martins was huge at the time. He, he's, he, was, he, was, he was a 155, but a huge 155. And that was right after he beat guys like Islam Makachev and stuff. And we were trying to kill each other in the training, brother. You know? And oh, I was... Yeah. yeah. Because before I go to ATT, I just had to train in small gyms. And and the problem is in small gyms, you don't train properly. So you got to do what you got to do. And in small gyms, people fight each other very hard on the training and that's not yeah. good but i used to be like that and then when i come to att if people say you sparring that guy i would try to knock the guy out i would try to hurt him you know and <laughs> and that's not good because people are gonna fight it back so yeah my first my first my first year on the att was very hard very hard but after that i get used to the way they training and they train smart you you have to sharp your tools you don't have to fight on the gym and i learned a lot brother since then not not only and you know what would be good you put this this like do a short video and put on the youtube to get more people to the patreon but okay that's a good that's a good question and and i i not only learn about fighting but i learned about life because i had to to leave my family you know my parents everybody my friends and to start all over in a new country learning a new english you know learning a new language because i didn't speak english at the time and it was very hard for me brother but that's the way to grow you know you have that's a motivational speaker coaching shit but it's oh, the shit. truth you have to live in your comfort zone you have to do something different and this is the same thing that i'm doing right now you know with this youtube you have to put yourself to, to, to people to criticize you and that's very hard but because we as human beings you know we we are we are always trying to 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 be flawless You know, yeah. to be perfect. But there is no such thing as perfect, bro, brother. In MMA, in life, in family, in the internet, you're going to, to lose eventually. And you're going to win. You just have to keep going. So uh, the ATT was, was a very important part of my life. And I'm still living this. I have a couple more years to fight and to train. So I want to take advantage of everything. Yeah. Were you married at the time? It, not married, but we. I was living together with my wife since 2000 and I would say 13 or 14. So uh, I was not married in paper, but we were living together. You know, since my we were living together in my mother house. So do you know? You oh, know? I see. I see. You know, yeah. so I was living in my mother house with her. We had a room over there. She used to cook and we used to, to live together with my mother. But after a while, I rent a, a small place, my brother. It was small, brother. It was a, they, 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 they call in Brazil kitchenette, right? Yeah, and it's people don't know <laughs> this. We, we need to, you need to tell them what this is. I need so, to tell so them. Can, yeah, so people can... can, can Let me see, see if I can... can imagine. Let me yeah. see. Tu, era 28 metros. Man, a, a kitchenette is, is like, uh, it has a kitchen, a bedroom, yeah. and a bathroom. All together. Yes. L like yes. you don't have separation, you know? 
Yeah, you don't have doors to to. Uh, I uh, oh no, the bathroom has a door actually, but yeah. kitchen and and bedroom is like the same room, maybe with a wall between them, but not not even doors, man. It's something like it's it's very common in in São Paulo right now. Because yeah, Paulo because it's too a... too expensive, right? Yeah, yeah. Watch this. I was living in a place like that. Yeah, with yeah. my wife and a dog, brother. <laughs> and a <friend laughs> dog. What's up, mother? Did you like this content? Did you like the little video, the short video that was taken from a podcast only exclusively on Money Moicano Patreon? Uh, consider to move up and to help us. Click the link below. Patreon Money Moicano and help us to do more content like that. Thank you so much. Us.